Hey, Chef John here with Barbecues Galore. Are you ready for some football? Because we have today a San Diego Supercharger burger. First thing we're going to do is start off with a little bit of beef. And in here I have chuck and I have some sirloin. We're going to go ahead and drop this. We actually have to emulsify this very well in order for it to keep its shape while it's on the grill. So you're going to go in there and just emulsify it or knead it with your hands and fingers there. Get dirty a little bit for at least maybe a good 45 seconds or a minute. Once you have this nicely emulsified, what you're going to go ahead and do is grab your patty. These are about eight ounces. You're just going to roll it down here. Make a little patty. You're just going to roll it with your fingers, just like so. And I try to make it a little bit flatter here so it can cook a little bit more even and a little faster. One tip for you guys is never put any salt, pepper, or any seasoning in the mix itself uh, because salt draws out moisture. If you do that, you end up drying out that burger pretty bad. So uh, go ahead and keep that for later. So the rub we're going to be using here today is going to be the Old Bob's Hickory with Garlic by John Henry. And so we're going to go ahead and put some of the shrub on here. And always know your rub. Taste your rub before you put it on. There's some rubs that are pretty salty, uh, so you want to make sure what the salt content is before you add it. And then there's rubs that are very sugary, so you want to make sure that you might add a little bit more of that sugary rub uh, than the salt rub if you have that going on. So we're going to rub that rub in. It's called a rub for a reason. Don't just sprinkle and run. Get in there, get your meat happy. And we're going to grab some oil. I'm going to use a little grapeseed oil because it, have a high, it has a higher smoke point. Go ahead and rub that in. Give it some love. And also notice that I do keep one hand clean, one hand dirty. I always practice safe sanitation at home. The reason I do this is I am working with raw meat. If I'm rubbing this down and then I go to this vessel and then this vessel here, this is going to be contaminated now with meat or raw, raw meat juices, and maybe tomorrow I want to do uh, some scallops, and I like my scallops raw. I go back to here, back to here, and I try to mix it with the same rub. I cross-contaminate those scallops, and I can get pretty sick that way, or get, get your party sick. Just rub it down here. I'm going to rub that in again right there. This is going to help penetrate some of the pores in this burger. It's going to allow it to give you a lot, a lot more flavor this way. Oil on there. Rub that down. So here for the burger, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be smoking these jalapenos. Uh, to smoke it, we're going to grab a quick little uh, pan like this. We're going to go ahead and grab a knife. You put the wood chips on the bottom of this pan. The top pan, you want to make sure you make a bunch of holes along the side. All the way around, you see that until you have all the holes in there. This is going to allow some of the smoke to penetrate these jalapenos here. Then what you want to do is grab yourself some foil. Grab this foil here. Wrap this around here. If you like spicy, this dish here, this burger, does have a really nice kick. Cover this up. If you notice, this is pretty tight, tightly wrapped around here. It has both lips, and that's exactly what you want to do. What we're going to do is put this right over the burner. And we're going to leave it on high until you get a heavy, heavy smoke. Once you see a heavy smoke, what you want to do is turn it off and leave it off for about maybe three to five minutes. Leave it covered, and then take it off the heat. And then chop it up and, uh, or slice it and put it right on top of the burger. So you want to start off on your grill on high heat. Right now it's closed and covered and I've had it preheated for about maybe 25 minutes. We're going to go ahead and open it and go ahead and turn off the center to about a medium heat. Heat the right and the left on high. Grab your burgers, put them directly on that grill, just like so. I'm going to leave them on there for a good maybe two minutes or so and then I'm going to give them a little turn, flip them, and leave them there for a second. You can also put this on low 
if you want to do this. Cover it up and leave it like that for about two minutes. Go back over there, give it a little turn, and then flip it over after another two minutes. So total time like that, it's going to be about five minutes or so. All right, so once you see that heavy smoke just like that, you're going to go ahead and turn off that heat and leave it just like that on off for at least, for at least uh, three to five minutes or so. Then you're going to uncover it, let them cool off, and they're ready to uh, be chopped or sliced. So after about maybe uh, six minutes or so, you're going to go ahead and grab your burger, flip it over to the other side here. And go ahead and leave them like that for another minute, another uh, six minutes or so on that side right there. You want to cook that burger until it's a medium, about 135 degrees internally. So after about five minutes or so of smoking, you're going to go ahead and uncover these. The smell is just beautiful right now. I'm actually using some mesquite wood in here uh, on the bottom of this pan. You can smell the jalapenos, the spiciness and the smokiness of them. If you ever want to do a... Um, Chipotle pepper, your own homemade chipotle pepper, this is a process. All you have to do is make an adobo sauce, drop the smoked jalapenos in the adobo sauce, refrigerate them for about three days, cover them up, and they're ready to go within three days to uh, put in your salad dressings, uh, and your food, and your sauces, etc. While your burgers are resting for about five to eight minutes or so, you're going to go ahead and grab your tomatoes, and we're going to go ahead and put some Mojave garlic pepper on these uh, beefsteak tomatoes. If you notice, I do cut them pretty thick. And the reason is we're going over straight high heat. We're gonna put it on that direct sear station of the Grand Turbo just to caramelize it really quick on the outside. We want the inside to have a little crunch uh, or texture still. Put a little bit of this Mojave garlic pepper on it. A lot of flavors going on here. Again, we're gonna use some grapeseed oil here. We're gonna go over the burner with extreme high heat on here. I'm gonna get our buns ready to go, to throw on the grill as well. Grab these tomatoes, sear station. Grab our buns. Just kinda warm up our buns here, toast them a little bit. Close that lid for another 45 seconds, and we're gonna revisit it, take it off the grill, assemble the burger, and it's gonna be delicious. Once all your meat's resting, your tomatoes are done, your bread's done, you're gonna go ahead and slice your jalapenos once they cool off. And I'll take all of these seeds out here. So that's what's gonna make it extremely spicy. Now, if you like the spice in it, you can always keep the seeds in there. However, I don't like it too spicy. I can't handle that type of spice. It's a little too much for me sometimes. So to assemble your burger, what you're gonna do is grab some mayonnaise. A little mayonnaise, you can hear that crust on this bread. Pretty delicious. I'll put mayonnaise on both sides here. Then we're going to hit it up with a little bit of Dijon mustard because everything tastes better with Dijon. Oh yeah. So once you have your burger ready, you're going to go ahead and drop your arugula on the bottom portion. Grab your grilled tomato, drop it right on top. And grab your beef. Put a couple of these strips of uh, the smoked jalapeno on there. Hit it up with a little bit of the blue cheese crumbles. I'm going to top it off with a little bit of bacon. Finish it off 